Hello guys. So today I have come up with the solution of this problem. It's like the driver i r q will not less or equal or you might be see this thing your PC won into a problem that it couldn't handle and now it needs to restart. So recently I have upgraded my Windows 10 into the build number 10586 so currently it is on that build number you can see here here you can see this is the build number 10586 so what's the solution of that error or that restarting problem so i have looked in the way but you know all just all those things didn't work for me so after that thing i have figured out Problem. So what's the problem? So you know, to figure out your problem, you have to type event and click on this event viewer. And sorry. So after clicking on the event viewer, you will get a thing like this. So in the event viewer, under the tag summary of administrative events, you will find all of this. You know, and last 24 hours, I have got five years, and last seven days, I have got seven years. So if you click on this thing, you will find the source of your failure or uh, your misunderstanding. So the source is kernel power system. If you double click on this, you will get the problem. The system has rebooted uh, without cleaning, uh, without cleanly shutting down first. This error could be caused if the system stopped res responding, crashed or lost power unexpectedly. So what's the solution? The solution is really very easy. Uh, you have to go on your notifications and go into the all settings on your Windows 10. By the way, this is Windows 10. So, notification, go to all settings, then go to system, and then go to power and sleep. And then under the related settings, click additional power settings. And then select choose what the power buttons do then in here you can see change settings that are currently unavailable and then here in the shutdown settings this will be checked on your computer this thing will be checked this box will be checked but you have to uncheck this box and this is the solution of this problem this is the solution so you have to uncheck this box so i have already unchecked this previously so you have to uncheck this box and then you have to click save changes and then you have to restart your computer it will not ask you to restart your computer but you have to restart your computer and this has give me the full solution of my computer and now i'm i'm just working on my laptop flawlessly and uh, so it, it it's worked out for me so i don't know whether it's gonna work out for you or not but yeah this is the solution so thanks for watching this video thank you